Okay, folks. Good morning. Good afternoon, I think. Morning? Afternoon. Okay, I have been having a dilemma with headsets. I bought... I like Razer products. I bought a Razer headset a while back, and it came and it was USB, which I thought would be great. It was kind of similar to this. Um, but every time I plugged in the USB, it threw all my settings off, and not that I couldn't fix it, but... But... It got really sick and real fast, resetting everything all the time. It just seems like the USB kind of like takes everything over. Um, so then I bought a set of um, Audio Technica. Those were big money. They don't have a mic on them. They're studio headsets. So I can use those just for doing video editing. And those just plug right in. That was great. Boop. So I needed a good set. A gaming headset so I ordered these razor I love razor products um, razor black shock v2x I read they were good and I got the box in last night and I don't know what they did to the bloody thing but it came I had a tape I didn't even open this yet I just to keep it together it can't it was tore right open I'll show you Give you a little, just take the tape off. I don't even need to do that. Just yeah, a little piece of tape there I put on there. Yeah, I know. Okay, so this is basically how it came, and this was ripped open. So I don't know if somebody had like got these, sent them back, and they sent me Muse. But from the looks of it and the way they were packed, it just looks like there was some issue with the shipping. So. What I'm going to do is a review on these, but first I'm going to give a little quick rundown on this thing. They have um, really nice bass, from what I understand. They have um, 50 millimeter Triforce drivers in them. They're made of kind of like a pleather material, um, plastic covers. From what it said about the weight, the weight looked really good on them. Um, very light, very light, very comfortable. So we're going to get to try them out in a minute. And I will be opening this. So please remember, give me a thumbs up. You help my channel. Come on, guys. A thumbs up. I'm trying. I'm trying. I am. I really am. I'm trying. Okay. So we're going to get to that right now. All right. We're back. Okay. So I thought I'd bring it in a little bit. Give you a look at the box. I'm going to tear these bad boys open. I'm also going to be doing a review on a EVGA FW3 TI, TI, the TIE, as they say. That was the stupidest thing I ever heard anybody say, TIE. They got to be thrown out of the business. Um, I was thinking about putting a, getting a box and putting like a TIE hand from it and doing a review on it, but I figured that would be kind of dumb too. So, um, All right, so we're going to open these up. By the way, they do have, from what I understand, a fairly good microphone on them. It doesn't detach. That was one of the things. So, after I take the tape off that I had to put on because it literally came already torn to shreds, basically. But it really, I'm telling you, it did not look like they were used. So... Here we go. All right. As we open the box, open the box, open the box. We're opening the box. Okay. Comes with the black shock. Looks like a manual with all the stats on it. Pretty much explains everything that's on it. It's got a 3.5 millimeter jack. It has a separate jack. The green jack is the stereo out. The red jack, or the orange, more or less, it's kind of a reddish orange, whatever you, well, take your pick. Anyways, it's not green. Um, that is for the microphone. Okay, I guess it shows you over here. I kind of was wondering what these things were. So you also get that synapsis, synopsis, whatever program, so that'll work well with my other razor products that I have um, I actually have a I actually I actually have a razor 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 um, so it, it comes with a kind of a 
a felt carry around pouch okay cool cool okay so yeah it doesn't look like it was tampered with in any way a little is there anything else in here no that's basic yeah okay so that that's it okay comes in some nice i like this i'm going to keep this stuff it's a kind of a soft anti-static type bag i like it it's thick and it's got pre-sticky and sticky sticky oh, that'll work good for okay all right so oh, here's a nail that i lost was my magnetic thing uh, oh well oh threw it right inside of there oh i picked this up the other day this this is what a beautiful little tool that is get them on amazon um what do they call these things yeah a wow stick yeah i think it's great all right all right so it comes with all these little kind of you like that it's like almost a peel yeah okay so see what i mean it's a flexible type mic let's see the size of it all right so it's a cardioid mic yeah okay that's for releasing and that's where it received the sound so uh, vice versa i'll have to look more into it kind of a big windshield wind filter on it okay and here we are wow really bright green let's take a look at the outside okay they're light definitely a pleather type material 50 millimeter drivers they're very soft work okay so we have a volume and we have I guess that would be a mic button okay I like the subdued color on it versus the one that lights up it's different on the other set it get that mouse the, the, the snake heads there but actually it would have been cool too it doesn't matter to me but um so I guess the, oh yeah so it works on these wires I can see this kind of mechanical type look they gave to it i get it it's not bad it's smooth okay let's take a look at the wire the gauge looks good okay i can leave that on there because it's a pain in the butt getting it back on every time you use it all right so what do we got here oh okay so it comes with a single wire if you want to attach this in to like the front of my case it has a wire kind of like this i guess that you can plug it into it came with the uh, nzxt case and it just basically splits so they they actually wow they give you plenty of it so it actually uh, splits it that's all it does it's splitter so as as i was saying okay all right so we're looking it's a pinkish and we got green oh well, actually is that white am i going colorblind or something all right so that comes with it and if you have a a, a setup that will take mic and speaker at the same time or headset you you have your i forgot what they call this top barrel sleeve type thing i think that's what it's called something like that I am not a professional on that stuff. Um, I'm not a professional on anything. Okay, so I like the feel of them. And left, right, it tells you basically what it is. Obviously, it would be easy to tell because of where the speaker falls. I mean, the, the mic. The mic. And we have a little bit of opening in here to release the air when them when them drivers are popping back and forth. You want air pulled in and out. You don't want it to be built in there and pressurized. Wow, I like them. It's comfortable, comfortable pad, comfortable head padding. I think the gauge on the Y is good. Oh. I'm going to try it on real quick. I know you can't see me try it on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I could wear these all day long. Nice. 
I'll have to see how they sound after. All right, so I just wanted to do a short video on this. Probably a little longer than, I don't know, by the time I cut it up, but. Um, so here we have it, the Razors, the Razor, Razors, the Razor Black Shock V2X. I know they make a Black Shock V2, the X, I think it's just a newer version. It has 7.1 surround sound. And if you want to say it in a different language, it's Sun Surround 7.1. Um, okay, Advanced Passive Noise Control. Lightweight design with memory foam ear cushions. Nice. Nice. Very, very nice. An analog. That's what I wanted. I don't know what it is about USBs and mics, but they drive me crazy. It interferes with my Yeti. Um, so, real quick rundown on everything, folks. Razor Triforce 50 millimeter drivers. Um, it comes with a cardioid microphone with Hyper XL Cardioid Mic, it's called, for enhanced voice capture. That's going to be inside the program. Um, it's cross-platform, obviously. You can use this with PlayStation or anything else. That takes a 3.5 millimeter jack. So that should make some people happy. Here's another picture of it. And here we have it, folks. This is where your extensions slide in and out of. I think it's kind of cool. I actually don't mind it. It's not in the way. Okay, you can see how the mic is flexible. And it has a really, really big wind cushion, huh? Uh, um, it's kind of big. I've got a smaller one I might put on there. Definitely a smaller one I might put on there. But anyways, so there we have it. On my next video, when I do the review of the um, the EVGA, it's actually on the UPS truck on the way. I'm psyched. I've been wanting to get one. I know they're really overpriced, but I, 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 I feel your pain. Um, again, in the near future, you guys stay in touch because I have secured a, a um, I just finished getting my licenses already. I've got three distributors that I'm hooked up with. I am not going to say their names at the moment because I am still in the final um stages of securing the contracts but we will be selling a full line of products and i will be selling them at msrp there will be no ebay prices so people stay in touch i will be putting a site up i'll be telling you where to go so we can place orders it's going to be kind of an online thing i I'm, it's going to be more of an e-commerce i don't want to get into walk-in store in my city high-end computers such as this one over here it wouldn't fly um, I mean I'm sure there's some people that could afford them but over the internet it's probably going to be more of sales for components than full builds but I will be doing full water builds custom tubing um, and I'm in the process I've never really done hard tubing and I'm, I'm learning it's really actually I've been practicing it's not that hard I mean you just got to be good with your measurements not overheat that tubing and honestly i would really really like to start learning how to do glass but one step at a time all right so um yes barboza yeah dude another another headset i'd say maybe i'd sell you my um my other set but i know you wouldn't buy anything because you're too cheap so <laughs> No, I'm just joking. All right, folks. Everybody, have a great day. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm going to put this one at the end of my next video as an opener for my next video. No, at the end of my... The one for the headset. Yeah, the one for the headset. Yeah, this is going to go at the end because this is going to be the little unboxing. But I'm not going to totally unbox it because you're going to have to wait for me to get to the whole review. But we're going to take a quick look because I'm excited. I'm probably going to be selling. I got my hands on a 
Asus Rogue Strix 3080. So I'll let you all know when it goes up for sale. Oops, oops, oops. You guys be knocking at my door. I can't leave that on there. <laughs> Sound like a gremlin. Okay, I got that out of the way. Yes, sir, Bob. Not Bob. Yes, sir, whoever. Get off there. Oh, what do we got? Oh, this better be the card I wanted. I hate this part. Okay. <clears throat> oh, this is a big box. Let's get that out of the way. Uh-uh, you can't see it. What's oh baby, it is the one I wanted. Oh, uh, this isn't from my distributor though. This is from one of the guys that I get wholesale from, but it's not my distributor. Oh, look at that! Oh, cream puff. Oh boy. I hope that didn't make too much noise when I just turned the mic. So there we have it. 12 gigabytes EVGA FTW3 Ultra. Well, it's a pretty card. I think I'm going to have fun running this. All right, enough. You guys got to see it. We'll be doing a full review on it with benchmarks. But she's a beauty, huh? You got a pretty picture yeah all right psyched we'll see how this baby performs i think we'll get about 12 15 percent more out of it without overclocking see how it tears through some video editing too while we're at it okay peace thumbs up